Hey guys, it's Senile, and I'm bringing you another little bit of deathmatch on Assassin's Creed 3 multiplayer. This is my... I think it's only like my third deathmatch, and my first in which I use an actual profile set that's kind of good, because I've been using the default profile set 1, which is the one with Money Bomb, and there's literally no use for Money Bomb in this particular mode, to be honest. But yeah, I'm using Decoy, Disguise, and Knives, which seems to work pretty well. Obviously, I've you've always been using Disguise all the time in Deathmatch, because it's disgustingly good at Deathmatch. But anyway, my first target is another guy. I have no idea what his fucking name is. Eventually, I'm just going to look up all of these names, because I just don't remember any of them. I'm playing as the Sharpshooter right now. I remember his name because I he was part of the pre-order, whatchamacallit, bonus thing. I remember he's called the Night Stalker or something. And here's a story about Mr. Night Stalker. I, I decided to look at the backstories of these characters w way before Assassin's Creed 3 came out. And I discovered that the Night Stalker's name is Joe. I'll, I'll, I'll let you alone with that one because I thought a guy who w runs around in a mask and a creepy hat and looks all sinister and shit, when you find out his name is Joe, that kind of ruins all of the, you know, the suspicious, sneaky, mysterious mystique that we have about this character. His name is Joe. So just in case you didn't know that, I'm just, I'm just, you know, you heard it here first. The Night Stalker's name is Joe. But yeah, back to the commentary after I've just killed Joe. Yeah, so I got murdered. And now I am back to trying to kill the character that I have forgotten his name. I don't think I ever knew his name, so I don't think I've forgotten his name. I'm just unaware of his name. But yeah, Mr. King Plate Tat over there is coming towards me, but he's not after me, it seems. So now I'm looking for Mr. Fuck Knows What Your Name Is. I don't know why I'm locking him anyway, to be honest. But then he gets fucked up, and Mr. I don't even know what his name is, and he's my favourite character, but I just called him... Well, I don't call him anything, to be honest. He's just... Fuck knows. Oh, yeah, he's the Silent Shadow or something. But, yeah. My lack of remembrance of these guys' names is becoming pretty tangential. I'm just going to get back to this. And, uh, yeah. I... I don't even know, to be honest. That guy, um... He obviously sold Mr. Solid Snake a bad deal on his car insurance, and he obviously was utterly pissed off about it, so he decided to, um, yeah, fuck him up. And then get killed by Joe. And again with the contract loss, he sounds so fucking happy about it. I want to know who actually does the voice for this person. So I can slap her or something. Right, I have absolutely bucket loads of pursuers, and I know for a fact one of them has got to be... Mr. Shadow, what do you want to call it? I run straight past my target because I'm like, well, I'm committed to this idea now, so I'm going to punch him in the face regardless. I'll leave my target, he can do what he likes. And now Mr. Fuck knows what your name is, I'm going to knife you and punch you in the face. That's gone pretty well, but I still have one pursuer left, so I'm wondering, I can't use the skies, it seems like a bit of an open area to do that. So I'll pop my decoy, my decoy goes mental, and Joe goes nut shit and ends up getting punched in the face. So after getting a nice little silent stun streak on all of my pursuers, I watch that guy get absolutely destroyed over the edge of a ledge. And then watch the guy who murdered him get stabbed by Mr. Native. That was pretty dodgy, because if that was the actual... Like, he could have easily stunned me there, because that was actually him. Then he sent the decoy, I was like, no, fuck you and your decoy. Then he tried to stun me, which was actually really close. I thought he had done. I was already in rage mode thinking, how the fuck did I not kill that guy? But yeah, I killed him. But now I've got fuckloads of pursuers again, so I'm just going to walk around the skies and see if I can have a impromptu meeting with one of these people. And by that I mean an impromptu meeting with my fist into their nose. But that doesn't happen, but Joe gets murdered by Mr. Shadow. And then I shove my bayonet into his gut and then slap him in the face of the butt of my gun and then punch Mr. God knows what your name is again. I remember the first time I saw Bravo, whatever his name is, and just in the corner of my eye I just thought it said bollocks. I don't, I don't know why, but I looked at it and just 
It doesn't actually look like anything like Bollocks, but I looked in the corner and was like, ah, oh, his name's not Bollocks, that's actually a lot less fun. But yeah, in that scenario, I get killed by... I really want to know what his name is now. It's annoying me because I keep being involved with him in this match, and I can't talk about it because I don't know what his goddamn name is. Don't even have a good nickname for him because he's just pretty unremarkable as a character. But now I'm looking for... Yeah. You guessed it. Don't know a name. Um, so I'm going to go over and kill Joint Rastafish. Just trying to get a hidden here, but I didn't have the chance. And she clearly was going to get up and punch me in the face. So I wasn't exactly being very subtle about my approach to her. You're right, Joe. Um, right, now I've got to kill uh, him again. But I'm in disguise. I didn't even know I was in disguise at the time. But then I was like, oh, I'm a red coat. Right, so I'm going to go punch him in the face. Sort that out. All right, Joe. Um, now, where's, where's he gone? I don't know where he is. I don't think I ever knew where he was. Ah. Your hat sucks. My hat is so much better and more epic and... Wow, look at his mouth when he died. That was hilarious. He was like... Uh, 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 uh. That was cool. I quite like the facial animations. Right. Go, decoy, go! Do me proud! Yes, Native American is chasing him. Yeah, now while everybody is fucking up my decoy, I'm just going to go and punch every face, hopefully, but then Mr. God knows what your name is comes over and ruins my opportunity to stun Mr. Native, which was unfortunate because everyone seemed to see my decoy and think he was obviously the Antichrist, despite the fact that he was I was obviously not in his line of sight. It wasn't even a particularly well-used decoy because I wasn't around. I tend to follow my decoy into battle. So everybody sees both of us, and hopefully if they don't glance at me quick enough, they'll see the other guy first because he's running in front of me and obviously try to stun him. You right, Joe? You right, Mr. Fuck knows what your name is? You have been oh, fuck you, stupid hat. Fuck you, stupid hat. Fuck you, Mr. This is actually quite cool looking character, but still, that was unfair. Opportunistic cunt. But right. Back into battle, I go to try and get some revenge on a guy who has three pursuers. That's probably never going to happen, but we, we we can always have hope. Morgan Freeman always says hope's, hope's good. Everyone loves a bit of hope in your life. Right. Um, once again, it's him. It's him again. Another little knife stun. Knives seem to be more reliable for stuns than they used to be, because in Revelations, I used to find that I'd knife someone, walk really slowly up to them so I don't get within their reduced kill range and then just get murdered anyway. I don't know if that was just because Revelations is glitchy as Ras, but um, that's not the point. And here, the game decided that the left one was clearly the, the better option, so I just thought, I'll trust the game. <laughs> I didn't even try and screen that person, it was just, the X button just kept becoming, like, going over that target, so I just thought, I don't know, maybe it's telling me to kill that one, I don't know. Don't know if that was just a coincidence or there was actually something going on there. But yeah. Time to kill Renachu. I might as well have just called him Renachu in the first place. I'm never going to know his name. Alright, Mrs. Native. Alright, Mr. Native. Contested kill. Yeah, don't try and punch me in the face. 30 seconds I don't know why you're trying to punch someone who's holding a gun with a spear thing attached to it. It doesn't seem like a fight you're going to win, really. Does it? Now, Mr. Stupid Hat is waiting to see if he can attack me, but he's not. And now Joe is coming towards me, and I'm going to plant Joe on the ground, and then get my nose broken and my neck broken in the space of four seconds. What a lovely way to end Massacre. a spot of death match. You have finished first. Of what is that guy doing? Oh, is he ground finishing me? Yeah, he's, he looked like he was shoving his foot directly at my rectal cavity, to be honest, but that's cool. Yeah, smug superiority. Yeah, we love it. Who is that guy on the left? Who who the fuck is that? Oh, God knows. But yeah, now I get to see myself punch everyone in the face. Yeah. Wow. That just is kind of in bad taste, the fact that the slow motion zoom in one was me punching a woman. But um, I'd like to think I'm a bigger man than that. But yeah, thanks for watching anyway. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and all of that shizzle. And I will see you next time. And hopefully, we'll be bringing you a wanted match. Because I had a pretty funny wanted match lately. Um, uh, recently, I mean. But yeah. 
So I will see you next time. Goodbye and have a nice day.